Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. Today's video is all about choosing the perfect eyewear for you. So this includes reading glasses, sunglasses, and of course it applies to men and women. I'm going to cover what sunglasses suit the different face shapes best, but also I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about things that a lot of people miss when they are buying sunglasses. Stay tuned till later in the video because I will be revealing the eyewear shape that suits absolutely everybody. If you like the video and learn something new, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So let's crack on with the first face shape, which is the square face shape. This face shape is very angular, very proportional. So there's a strong jawline, not much definition in the chin. It pretty much goes straight across underneath the chin. So what we're looking for here is something to soften those angles of the face. And ideally, round glasses are the way to go for this face shape. This shape of eyewear is typically associated with Harry Potter. And if you don't feel comfortable going with a full on round lens, then you can soften it with a slight angle to the top of the lens and that will also work well for this face shape. So next up is the heart shaped face and this is typically defined by the chin and how the chin is slightly elongated and comes down to a point and like me it comes up through the jawline and then pretty much straight up and you can imagine the heart shape around my face. So the person who is synonymous with this face shape is Jennifer Aniston and she's also the go-to person for this style of sunglasses. Can you guess? It is the aviator. She wears these so well. Um, whoever styled her is just got this spot on. So what is it that we're looking for when we're choosing eyewear for this face shape? Because the most narrow part of the face is coming down towards the chin, we have to balance the eyewear with this. So we need weight down towards the bottom of the face. And that's exactly what the aviator lens does. It comes out and below the eye line, out towards the side of the face where the face shape starts to go in. And this is why it works so well. Something to look out for that I haven't seen mentioned in other videos is where the bridge of your nose sits and in relation to your cheek. So if you look at the profile of a person, if the bridge of the nose is quite far set into the face and the cheeks are out, the aviator is not gonna work for you because what will happen is the eyewear sits on the face and when you smile, it sits into the cheek. And that's what happens to me with aviators, so I don't tend to wear them. So I'd advise you to look at a different style uh, instead of the aviator, something that sits up a little bit higher on the face and again, I'll tell you about those glasses that suit absolutely everybody, so that could be an option for you too. Next up is the diamond face shape. So as you can imagine, the broadest part of the face is around the middle of uh, the face where the cheeks are, the cheekbones, and then it gets narrower towards the top of the head and towards the chin. Where we want to add weight to is the top of the face. And the perfect way to do this is with a cat eye lens that kind of pulls up and out. This brings back proportion to the face and it looks really well as you can see on Rihanna here. Moving on to the oval face shape. If you have the oval face shape, you are in luck because you pretty much suit every shape of eyewear. The oval face shape has no hard edges or particularly soft edges. It's very well proportioned and this is why you can get away with wearing pretty much any eyewear as you can see in the pictures here. Next up is the oblong face shape. So this is similar to the oval, except it is just elongated. So when you have a, quite a long, narrow face, you can get away with really oversized sunglasses. They look phenomenal on you. So the bigger, the better. 
Don't be afraid to have some width with those sunglasses as well so they can come out further than the line of your face and because your face is naturally longer and narrower most sunglasses probably will and that's absolutely fine. Next up is the round face shape so again pretty in proportion all the way around the face no hard edges just very soft lines in a circle around the face. So the best eyewear for you is something that is going to counteract the roundness of the face and so something with angles is going to be best for you. So as you can see here, this rectangle shape is really nice. So anything with those kind of hard edges, those angles are going to look great on the round face shape. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I would share a sunglass shape or eyewear shape that suits pretty much everybody and that is the Wayfarer sunglasses. They're not too big, they're not too small, they don't have very hard edges, they don't have very soft round uh, shape to them. So it, they suit pretty much everybody. I haven't met anybody who doesn't suit a Wayfarer. So if you are in doubt, go for this type of sunglasses and it's a pretty safe bet. Now for a little bit of extra information about choosing eyewear, but equally as important as getting your shape of eyewear correct to suit your face. Choosing the right eyewear for you is very much dependent as much on your style personality and your overall coloring as it is on your face shape. So when you're going to choose your sunglasses, it's a great idea to have an understanding of what type of style personality you have. This is especially important for the likes of the creatives and the dramatics because they will be drawn to bigger, bolder sunglasses that stand out and make a statement. Maybe something similar to these. So they're quite out there, they're not gonna go unnoticed. If you are the classic style personality, you might like to play it a little bit safer and go for those classic styles, something that's not too out there, typical Wayfarer styles, so nothing that's going to draw too much attention or stand out too much. You might also consider the occasion that you're wearing your sunglasses for. <laughs> so I'll share with you a little story when I was buying sunglasses years ago. Um, I was buying a pair that was quite, um, quite out there. Uh, they made a statement. <laughs> And I was talking to a friend of mine and I was explaining how I wouldn't wear these to a funeral, for example. So I needed a pair of sunglasses that would be suitable to go to such an event. He thought this was absolutely ridiculous, but I didn't want something that was going to be um, drawing attention or, you know, come across as disrespectful um, that, you know, I wasn't dressing for the occasion. And so I thought it was important to invest in a pair of sunglasses that I could wear to such occasions that weren't so out there. Let me know if you have similar thoughts about sunglasses or I'm just by myself here. Another thing to consider when buying eyewear is the color of the frames and the color of the lens. So it's really important to get an understanding of your own personal color palette because it just makes shopping so much easier for, for clothes, for makeup, for hair colors, for eyewear, everything. So once you know this, your whole wardrobe comes together, including your eyewear. So if you are, for example, a summer or a winter coloring, something with a gold uh, frame to it may not suit you so well. It's also worth considering the lens. So some lenses will have brown to them, which won't suit cool colors, cool undertone people you're better off going for something with black to it. Likewise, if you have an overall softness to your look, those deep lenses are not going to work so well. Instead, you might choose something that has a softness to them, like these lenses here. So these are Ray-Bans I got years ago and I absolutely love them. So it is definitely worth getting to know your colors. If you haven't done a color analysis already, get in touch with me, I do them internationally online. So get to know your colors and then that will make choosing your eyewear really easy. That's it for today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.